the the Xbox 360. I still respect that, but what do you I mean? Just that, the Xbox that is the golden. Better. That's the golden age, bro. Are you me? Dude, I'm not trying I'm, to I'm be one like... of the most classic old school gamers you'll meet here, yeah. man. I just I come I, on to this new the, shit and everything's so fucked. I don't know. There's so many fucking people talking, man. Gaming has changed from the 90s to fucking. It, it doesn't even make sense now. Now. I don't know. I don't like it as much as I used to, but I always wanted one of these VR sets, and I did get one, and I played a few games on it, and it was awesome, but I, I was trying to work around something with my alcohol issue with VR chat, and it seems like I'm having a hard time talking to people, man. What the fuck? PC players always ignore you. I'm just... They won't talk to you. 14-year-olds are everywhere! I, got I, I just want to talk to adults or somebody over... Routine and just fucking drink and talk. Like, well, like what's so fucking hard that about that? I'm not even gonna do something. I, I, I'm, I'm, I'm uh, utilizing yeah. like four different hands to smoke weed, smoke cigarettes, and drink this alcohol. And it's like, I gotta take off the headset to do it. And it's like, why is this so difficult? I say just lock your door and just lock yourself in your room. Try to ignore it. Oh, bro, dude, I got quite a story to tell you. Okay, story time in VR chat. Story time. Do you want me to tell you guys a story? Like any story, story even if it's irrelevant? It's I'll memory. tell you guys a good story. Since you guys are here around me, let me tell you my first acid trip called Honey Buns. I had a good friend for a long time, and I trusted him, and he gave he came he came and got me one day and he was like hey man you want to trip with me and i was like well fuck if you're doing it me, shit man. i'll do it here i'll even utilize my hands to make it more dramatic yeah i i know it somebody was explaining that to me earlier and it was hey, weird but... interest, who's interested in scary avatars <sighs> just i don't know man i just want to have a good time while i'm you know, fucked up out of my mind i was about 17 and my buddy got me a rick and morty hit of acid so <laughs> the first took after an hour he was like hey do you feel anything and i was like nah man i feel really awake and he's like all right let's take another one and then he gives me this rick and morty one in another tab and then we, he was like man i want to get some honey buns and i was like okay and he's like no those motherfuckers shit in buckets because he literally caught them shitting in buckets one day. So we skipped that gas station and we went all the way up this one fucking road that took us like two miles away to this one gas station. And I live in Indiana, so I always seen a bunch of fucking meth addicts, crackheads leaning up against a fucking gas station at like three in the morning. And the whole mission, the entire mission was we gotta get honey buns in a drink out of this gas station without laughing. Because I swear to God, I could not stop laughing for fucking 12 hours straight, dude. We grabbed this armful of honey buns, and we put it on the desk, and then I look at my buddy with this fucking alien eye pupils, and he just looked at me, and we just started laughing for five minutes straight. And then we had this sober moment. We realized how fucked up we were. We called it a sober moment because it was the closest thing to realization that you can get on acid. To realize, oh fuck, we're in a situation we gotta do shit. Like, so we start walking away about 600 feet away from this place, and I was starting to talk about, did you see all those crackheads outside of that gas station? He was all like, <laughs> I'm like, dude, chill the fuck out, bro. We're good. And then this car pulls up next to us. And he goes, hey, man, you got a lighter? My buddy's like, nah. I go, yeah, sure. And I give him a lighter. And then he turns the corner and his car <laughs> breaks down. And me and my buddy <laughs> look at each other. And he started dipping down this fucking um, train tracks. And I start following him like, bro, where you tripping now? He's like, oh, I ain't fucking trusting that shit. And I was like, yeah, you're right. But then before you know it, the acid hit you again. And we're so sidetracked on this crane with this light it was literally three in the morning it was this big ass crane in the junkyard with a spotlight on it and it was picking up we got to go back and smoke some weed and he's like yeah and we were walking alongside these train carts and i was like 
Yo, what if a hobo jumped out of this motherfucker right now? You know, I was fucking with him, and while I was middle of fucking with him, he looked to his right and started dipping down the fucking tracks, and I started following him like, bro, chill out. You're tripping. He's like, bro, I swear to God, I seen two people on the other side of the fence. And I was like, nah, bro, I didn't see nothing. You, How do you see anything? And by the time we got out of those train tracks, we we actually seen two people walk away from the fence. So there was somebody. There was literally two people watching us tripping balls. It's fucking weird. We end up going back to his place. I was sitting on the back of this guy's truck. I looked down the street one way, and I looked down the street, then I looked again, and I was like, yo, I was like, the fucking road's on fire, and he's like, oh shit, and I was like, you see that shit, right? Like, four blocks down, it looked like the fucking, it, you could see orange, red heat emitting from fucking four blocks down the street, and I was like, dude, it looks like the fucking road's on fire, and he's like, yeah, let's go check it out. We were walking towards this fire. The closer we got, it looked like sirens, like cherries and berries, like fucking cop cars. And we were like, nah, fuck that. It's a trap. So we started walking back. 10 seconds later, we look back, there's nothing. And there was never any sound. I, I never in my life have ever seen something as fucking hallucinating as like that. I've been tripping over 40 times in my life, man. And nowadays, ever since these experiences, even with my current girlfriend, I only, when I do acid, we don't do no more than two hits and we never walk outside. We can go on the porch, but you never step off the fucking porch. No, don't worry about it. The, the thing about acid is it takes a big toll on different people. Go ahead. I guess I can what? I accidentally did an edible. Bro, if I was tripping right How now, you, you'd be the freakiest fucking thing I've ever seen.